Hey, and welcome back to my channel. So today I am talking all things Lollipop Baby Monitor. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss an upload. And please make sure to like this video so that I know what kind of videos to continue making on my channel. I have been meaning to make this video for a long time. I first got the Lollipop Smart Baby Monitor when I was pregnant with my first daughter, who is now two and a half years old. So I meant to make this video all the way back then when I first got it and fell in love with it, but I never did. So this time around, we got another one once we found out we were going to be having another little one, and we still absolutely love it. So I wanted to make sure I did a video of all of the things that I love, some of the things that I don't love so much. But this is gonna be a pretty in-depth video where I talk about all of the different features that the Lollipop has to offer. If you are making a registry or if you are thinking about changing the monitor that you are using, I definitely believe that the Lollipop is a very good option. If you are new to my channel, then you may not know. I have a background as an elementary school teacher and a preschool teacher, but also as a nanny. So I have actually used a few different monitors. And when I was looking for a monitor that would work best for my family, after looking at a bunch and having used a few different ones, I decided that the Lollipop Smart baby monitor was the right way to go for us. This monitor is great both in and outside the box. The packaging is on point. They really do a great job with it. So when you get yours, the siding will be based on the color that you have. We have the blue color, which is called turquoise, and that's the first one that we started with. And the second one we got, we decided to go with the pink, which they call cotton candy. They have another color. I've never actually seen it in person, but it's called pistachio and it looks like more of a yellow green. But the color that you get is going to be seen on the side of the box. When you open up your box, this is going to be what you're going to see. You see the smart baby monitor on the top and then underneath is everything else that you will need. So this is the monitor and one of the things that I absolutely love is that this bends in so many different ways. So we've wrapped it around the crib. You can use it to stand up. There are just lots of different ways that you can use this. And this monitor is so easy to set up that we take it with us when we travel or we'll send it with our daughter when she's staying at her grandparents' house. So that is another thing that I absolutely love about the Lollipop. So once you lift the top part out, that is when you're going to see everything else that you need for the monitor. And look at this cute little detail of the baby feet. I told you the packaging is great on this. So I currently don't have anything in this top part of the box because I do still have it plugged in for our baby. But as I said, it's really easy to set this up. It's really easy to just take the plug out and I was able to just grab this part for the video while we don't need it. This right here is the clip that you use to hold the lollipop in place. So we use this clip in my oldest girl's room, but we don't really need it with the pack and play that my baby sleeps in, but it just goes through here. And then this part goes here. So if you were putting this underneath the crib railing, and then you can put it back up through here and you can keep it in place. So we do use it like this on Alani's crib. Another great thing that's included are these cable holders. So there is an adhesive on the back so you can just stick these on the wall or the back of the crib or wherever works for where you're positioning your lollipop. And then you push the cord into this so that it's not dangling and it's not free to become any sort of hazard for your child. If you don't wanna use this free standing or attached to the crib, there's also the option of this which comes in the box as well. So the lollipop can go in here and wrap around it. It's really cute because it looks like a little tree branch and that way you can have whatever angle of view that you want for the monitor and this attaches to the wall with this part so it has adhesive on it but if you wanted a more permanent attachment you could use the holes to screw it into the wall and it does come with the screws and anchors so I've gone over everything that comes in the box and again the packaging is phenomenal I absolutely love it it's just a nice little touch but once you're ready to set up the camera you can download the lollipop app so one of the nice things about lollipop is it does work over Wi-Fi so you can view the monitor on an app or you can actually use your desktop and view what you were able to see through the monitor 
on your computer. I think it's definitely more beneficial for most people to have it on the app, but I think it's very cool that you can also view everything on the computer as well. Some of the features that you're going to get with the Lollipop Smart Baby Monitor are true crying detection. So whenever any sort of noise happens, we get an alert depending on what decibel it hits, which we can actually set on the app. So we are notified if there is any sort of loud sound and we are also notified if there is crying that is detected. Now I will say that sometimes it says it's crying and it's not actually crying, but either way it is noting that there is a sound coming from the room. On the topic of sounds, you can play music through the Lollipop monitor. You can also play different sounds through the Lollipop monitor. You can choose those through the app and it's a nice feature to be able to have, though I don't really use it often. I'll talk about that later when and I get to things I don't love. Two other great things about the audio is that it has a two-way audio, so you can obviously hear your child, but there is a button that you can press in the app that allows you to speak to your child through the monitor. Another audio feature is that you can set it to audio only. So you don't have to have the video up on your phone. You can set it so that you're just hearing the sound in the background if there ever was to be a noise. And now when it comes to viewing the actual image that the monitor sends, it's a pretty good image, I will say, both in the daytime and the nighttime. Obviously, the image is better in the daytime because of the lighting, but even the nighttime is good, and it does allow you to zoom in. I am definitely one to zoom in and make sure that my infant baby is breathing, <laughs> so that is a great feature. I do enjoy being able to have that and see that. Another thing that is great is through the app, you are able to view the monitors. We have one in our room where Emmy is sleeping, and then we have another one in Alani's room. When we open up the app, we are able to see both of those monitors at the same time. And we're also able to hear the sound from both of those monitors at the same time. Now, if I click on either one, then I'm able to just focus on that specific monitor, but it is nice being able to see both of them, especially on these days where I am able to get both of them down at the same time. I have read that you can use Google or Alexa to give commands to your monitor, such as turning on music, or reporting recent events, but that is something that I have not used. We do have Google speakers throughout our house. I just haven't found it to be something that I've needed. I have also read that the Amazon Echo Show works with the Lollipop. I'm not exactly sure if that means that you can get the video on it, but that would be really great if they had that for Google. Because again, we have all Google speakers and video displays in our home. One of the things that had me going back and forth when it came to choosing the Lollipop was Wi-Fi. I had heard some scary things about using a monitor that worked with Wi-Fi and someone potentially hacking it or anything like that. Obviously, I did still get the lollipop, but there are security measures that I really appreciate that come with this monitor. So through the app, you can see all of the devices that have accessed your monitor, which is really nice because if there is something that is not one of your devices that has accessed the monitor, you are able to find that out. Another feature is privacy mode. So with privacy mode, you can only view the monitor if you are connected to the Wi-Fi. Now you might think, well, then why wouldn't you just always do that? But there have been times where we've had family watching our daughter pre-COVID where we would go out and try to enjoy just a night together but we would still check the monitor and see that she was sleeping okay or anything like that. And obviously we wouldn't be able to do that if it was on privacy mode because we wouldn't be connected to the Wi-Fi. So if you are wanting to use the camera and view the monitor outside of your house, that would obviously be a time that you wouldn't want privacy mode to be on. Standby mode is another feature that the camera offers, and when you turn on standby mode, you actually turn the video off. So you cannot access the video or audio, but you don't have to disconnect your actual smart baby monitor for that. There's just a button in the app that you're able to 
toggle over and deactivate the audio and video. Another feature that I love, which isn't exactly a privacy related one, but it is something that gives me peace of mind, is the disconnect alarm. If for whatever reason your lollipop disconnects from Wi-Fi, you will get an alert on your phone letting you know that it is disconnected as well as an alarm will sound. It really just depends on your phone what the alarm is, you can choose that. It made me feel a lot better at night when I was sleeping and we were transitioning Alani to her own room. I just knew that if it did disconnect for any reason, it was not reporting back to us, we would at least be alerted that that was the case. One of the extra little bonus features that I love with this monitor is the baby gallery. So if your little one is doing something that you want to capture in the moment, yes, you could just take a screenshot, but you can also just take a picture through the app and it will then save in a little baby gallery, which is really sweet. We definitely have a lot of pictures. Now I use the Lollipop as is straight out of the box, but there are other things that you can purchase to kind of enhance your experience with the Smart Baby Monitor. One of those things is an optional sensor. The monitor does not report back on temperature, humidity, or air quality unless you have the sensor. Those were things that I really wasn't concerned about, but if that is something that is important to you, you might want to look into purchasing the sensor when you purchase the Smart Baby Monitor. Another thing is Lollipop Care. Now they do offer a 30-day trial, and once we are moving Emmy to her own room, I am considering giving it a try, but for now, it is not something that we need. So with Lollipop Care, you get continuous video recording. Now I had mentioned that we get alerted if there is any sort of loud noise. What happens is Lollipop calls that an event and it starts the recording right before that noise happens so that when you look back you can see what it was that caused that reaction in your child or anything like that. It's a great feature but the only way that you are able to go back and look at video is if an event happens. With Lollipop Care, there is continuous recording, so you are able to download any moment that you want. So if they were doing something really cute or hit a milestone and they happened to be in their crib or you were using the monitor in a different place and it captured it, with Lollipop Care, you would be able to download that video. Without Lollipop Care, you would not be able to download the video again unless there was an event that had caused some sort of loud noise. Lollipop Care also includes a sleep tracker, so if that is something that is important to you, Lollipop Care might be something that you want to look into. So those are all of the features that I want to mention. They are really great features. There are some problems that I have had with the monitor though. Obviously not enough for it to be a big problem because I did buy a second one, but I feel that all of these are worth mentioning. The two-way audio is a great feature because you are able to talk to your baby through the actual monitor, but there have been times where we can't get it to work and we are connected to the same Wi-Fi. There shouldn't be any sort of issue. We don't know why, but we will push the button for the two-way audio and it just won't do anything. That is definitely not all the time, but it has happened enough that I think it's kind of an issue. I also keep a sound machine in my daughter's room, so we don't really use the monitor sound machine very much, but I probably wouldn't use it anyway because I do find it hard to actually hear my baby when the sound is coming through the actual monitor. And I feel like they get drowned out by the sound that's coming out of the monitor if I choose to play a sound or play music. If there's not enough light in the room, a red light forms a ring around the lollipop camera. And we have a light that we use in my daughter's room. It's part of the sound machine. So Elani doesn't really get to see that red light very much. But I will say that just from working with a lot of different kids, that is something that could be scary for some. It has turned on before and Elani hasn't minded it, but I think it's worth mentioning because you know your own kid best. And if that is something that would kind of freak them out a bit, then it's something to consider. Something that I really wish that the Lollipop offered were just two neutral colors, like a white and a black. I obviously have the turquoise and the cotton candy, and they're cute colors and it's fun, but it would be nice to have something more neutral if you weren't trying to get something that was like, 
pink or blue or yellowish green. The last thing I want to mention is just the extras that go with the lollipop. Again, I use it just as it is and I absolutely love it. But if you're considering getting the sensor pad as well as lollipop care, you're adding $55 with the sensor and then another $199 with Lollipop Care. So when you add all that in with the cost of the monitor, at that point, you definitely wanna price compare with some of the pricier monitors that already have a lot of those features. With all of that said, I still absolutely love this monitor. I still highly recommend it. And I think that it is a really great monitor for the price. I've had the Lollipop monitor for two and a half years now, and now I have two of them. So if you have any questions, please make sure to leave them in the comments. I will try my best to answer whatever you ask. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are not yet subscribed, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. I will see you in the next video. Bye.